and I'm an illustrator. Fringe Cover is going to be created using online media and crowdsourcing, so through Twitter we'll be inviting the audience and the public to send in their ideas of the most unusual thing that they would like to see at the Fringe. Then I'll be going through all the suggestions and drawing the best ones. We're doing it live and streaming it over the internet, so anyone can log on and, and watch the creation as it happens, so you'll see all the the initial pencil lines and the drafting out and the rubbing out, um, maybe all the bits that I wouldn't normally let people see. I have no idea how it's going to work out, what people are going to ask for. I'm really looking forward to seeing that, that final image and, and seeing what we all managed to create together in this collaborative process. tweets have been really kind of um, eclectic and quirky and a little bit crazy and I think that really captures what the fringe is all about. It gives people a real opportunity to feel like they can see something happening instantaneously. Being the age I am, I'm not so computer illiterate, but I think it's great. It's kind of bringing unity and involvement. I think it's a nice interactive way of getting people involved in the, the festival before it even starts. My name's Russell. This is my shop, Analog Books. If the cover was wrapped around with blank bit, people could kind of carry on drawing what they're seeing during the festival or something like that. I think that would work really well. You could add your own sketches to it. Then. The ethos is, I guess, kind of eclecticism. You're able to kind of participate more as well in that, so it's quite a clever idea. Hi, I'm Sarah. I run the Red Door Gallery here on Victoria Street. I couldn't think of a better idea for this year's Fringe Cover, um, especially with regards to the technology it's using. People these days, I mean, we seem to have less and less time, um, so when you're standing at the bus stop, Using your mobile to tweak something seems like the perfect idea. The two lots of 12 hours are finished. The canvas is full. All the selected tweets have now been drawn and are inked up and the canvas is all completely covered and finished.